morning. Welcome to Southside Garage. And this morning we're going to be looking at the uh, the air lines that run into the exhaust ports on a VN2000. Uh, the bike has um, deceleration pops, so we're going to cap off those those air lines at the cylinder head and uh, see if we can get the pop out of it. To remove the seat, it's two 10mm bolts, these two at the back here. So I'll just go ahead and remove those, take the seat off. Now because I'm going to do an all round visual inspection of all the wiring and hoses and, and uh, so on, uh, I'm also going to remove the two side covers at this point. So on, on this side you'll need your key to unlock this, this side cover and the one on the other side just pops straight off. So I'll go ahead and do that. Yeah, before I start uh, on the fuel tank, I'm actually going to remove this battery cover and disconnect the battery leads as we're going to be um, disconnecting uh, wiring and fuel lines and so on and they're, they're all close together on the other side there so to prevent fire or, or any short or anything like that we're going to disconnect the battery cables just to be safe so with the battery cover there's a number of bolts holding just this little piece of plastic on so um, what I did in the past the first time I had to go into the battery when I put the cover back on I just used two two of the bolts to hold the cover I think that's that's more than ample just to hold that little cover on so two of the bolts that are easily accessible there and then don't forget to move your wiring connector there you don't need to unplug it but just lift it off out the way because it actually clips into the cover as well so you don't want to be yanking on your wires there so uh, I'll just go ahead and do that Next we're going to go ahead and remove that 12mm bolt from the fuel tank mounting and uh, also this breather hose. You can disconnect it at the, at the tank if you like or you can just pull it through from where it's routed and uh, take the tank off and leave that hose connected and just reroute it again once you put the tank back on. So I'll uh, go ahead and remove that 12mm bolt now. So next we're going to go around to this side. Then we're going to remove that Phillips head bolt right there, holding that cover on. So I'll go ahead and do that. Once you've removed that bolt from the side, then this cover just pops off in the same fashion that, that your side covers pop off. It's quite simple. So now, what we're up to is we have with these wiring connectors, fuel pump, fuel line. So, we're going to need to do is uh, disconnect some of these these wiring connectors and uh, possibly drop this whole assembly down and uh, get at the fuel line where we can disconnect it there and then the tank should be right to come off. Uh, the reason for disconnecting some of these uh, connectors here is that they run up to your instrument panel up there so they do need to be disconnected and to give yourself a bit more access to the fuel line we may have to undo these bolts here drop this plate down a little bit just so we can get better access to the uh, high pressure fuel line out of the fuel pump
And then we've unplugged our four wiring connectors. I'll just go through them with you. So this one, the first one, the tab that needs to be pressed down is at the front. The next one, it's at the front also, but it's not, it's not down on that, it's not down in there, you actually have to come underneath from this side of the, the outside of the plastic. So you need to get in between there and here, and then that'll just come straight out. Uh, the next one is this one. Uh, its retainer is right there, which goes into the front right there. So screwdriver again at the front. And this last one, which is this one, its retainer is is on this side, so you'll need to come in from that side with your screwdriver underneath and uh, pop that out. So there are four plugs, wiring plugs, and um, you have these um, metal keepers here that the wiring uh, looms run through and there's another one up under there so I have to pull all of those wires out of the way and um, then we're going to undo these bolts that hold this plate on with the other half of the wiring loom so we can smooth that a little bit out of the way so we can get out the fuel line and disconnect that so well, I'll just go ahead and do that now. Next we're going to go ahead and remove these two 10mm bolts. This one here and that one there. And just see if we can move that whole plate there out of our road enough to get at the fuel line to disconnect it from the fuel pump. The two mounting bolts are, are different lengths. The longer one went to the front of the motorcycle and the shorter one went to the rear. Next we're going to need to push those orange tabs back and remove the fuel line off the fuel pump and then the next will be another breather on this side of the tank at the rear. Uh, so I'll just go ahead and, and uh, do the fuel line. Next will be this other vent tube here on the left side. So uh, we'll just take that off. That should be everything disconnected. So uh, now we're good to lift the tank off. So we'll go ahead and do that. So that's how you remove the fuel tank. Fairly involved job. But uh, take your time and, and uh, think about what you're doing. And uh, you'll get through it okay. So what I'm going to do now is go ahead and break off the air injection system with these uh, rubber caps. Just two of those. So this hose will come off and, it, and we'll cap uh, that post there where it goes into the exhaust and same on the front cylinder as well. We're going to have to keep this connected to the wiring system and so initially what I'll do is I'll leave this pipe on, this solenoid on and then we'll work out how we're going to uh, attach it so it doesn't uh, flop around everywhere but that needs to remain plugged in until you can uh, turn it off at the ECU otherwise you're going to get a check engine light when you unplug that but, uh, it, it will be uh, no problem just to leave these hoses uh, exposed even if you cut them off up here somewhere 
uh, so that you've still got this mounting here and that it's not going to uh, it's not going to affect anything the main thing is we'll cap it off here and here and we'll see if that helps with the uh, deceleration popping this is what the rubber caps look like and the size is 13 mil or half inch universal blanking cap so we'll go ahead and put those on so I'll just show you the blanking caps installed uh, the solenoid still connected to the uh, wiring loom and also still connected to the air cleaner I've just been out on a long ride and uh, test out the deceleration popping and that uh, it, it's reduced by substantially reduced but it hasn't eliminated it completely um, so it was worthwhile doing but you know, we'll have to do something with the ECU to eliminate the popping totally uh, out of the bike which was the same uh, with uh, my triumph was, was the same it had a similar setup on it and it was popping just the same and um, yeah it wasn't until we got the uh, ECU done that the popping was gone totally so anyway that's for another day but I uh, hope that helped somebody and I'll uh, catch you on the next one